And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a look at Not Such a Good Man, the Crowder Tapes. I drew a boundary. I drew a boundary. So we have, we're here at Stephen Crowder's home, where he's in the back, he's on the back porch enjoying a cigar. This pregnant bitch. Drawing a beer and a cigar on the, in the back porch in summertime. Out there by the pool. Nice backyard. And she ain't acting right. No, no, you just did, you just did it. I drew a boundary of abusive and cruel. You were not taking the car. That's right. That's right. It is abusive to Steven Crowder. If you take the car and you're his wife to go to the store to buy his groceries. You are abusing him. The man who, who heckles victim culture. Because... If you refuse to do wifely things, then I will go pick up the groceries. Steven, she's pregnant. Maybe maybe you should go pick up the groceries since, you know, you're just chilling at home. Just saying. Steaks. We all like to joke around talking about make that bitch get the groceries, barefoot pregnant. But you really do have a barefoot pregnant wife right now. Maybe, maybe just calm down. It's like, yeah, bitch, get me a steak. Yeah, I know you're six months pregnant. Fuck that shit. Can't you see my feet are up and I'm smoking a cigar? What tell us? My grill. I know it's not a reasonable request. But I'll go do it. How about you first? Hillary, how do you respect the man? Yes. How do you man? There's part of me that's like, well, base Steven Crowder. And then the realistic part of me is like, you're kind of an abusive asshole, Steven Crowder. I'm a man. You see the love of respect. No, no. On the other other hand, had you filmed me during the end of my marriage, you probably would have caught me and my wife saying some pretty ugly shit to one another. So, a lot less judgment than the way I judge you for your professional behavior, Stephen. No, you're not taking the car. You're not taking the car. You are not then taking the car. Then I will ask someone to pick me up. Would you like me to ask? Was that a threat? Who's had a threat? Are you fucking, are you threatening me? Threat, Stephen. Get an Uber. Stephen's... Full, get in an Uber. You're giving this bitch the Ethan Ralph treatment. Mom, get an Uber. What the fuck, dude? This is your pregnant wife, man. I'm pretty misogynistic, but I mean, if Leaf was pregnant, I could see driving her to the grocery store. Mostly because I don't let her drive. Okay, Steven, I can't. Feeling some constraints? Steven. Like, I can't Steven. go. I, listen to me, listen to me. You want to walk out right now? Listen to me, I can't go to the gym. I can't go to my parents. I can't call my friends. I can't go. I can't be home. You're going to take the car and leave me here. Hillary, just think of how boxed in you've made me. Look at your surroundings, Steven. Look at you smoke, smoking a cigar next to your nice grill on your back porch with your two fucking dogs looking over your pool and your property. How bad? You can't go to the grocery store and take the ride. Think about it, This is like prison. How boxed in you're making me feel right now. Well, poor Steven Crowder. Poor Steven Crowder. Oh, the conditions under which this abusive woman was making Steven Crowder live. I'm sorry, Steven. Was your barefoot pregnant wife abusing you by going to buy your dinner at the grocery store, the steaks you wanted? Uh, you know how much of an asshole you have to be to make me sound like a fucking feminist? And I'm over here like, I think you're being a little hard on the on the, on the the wife there, Steven. You're kind of teetering on abuse here. This behavior is a little toxic. Well, you are such an asshole. And it's we're finding out how big of an asshole you are from everyone at the same time. It really is a divorce for you. What do you need me to pick up? I'll get it. I'll be back when I'm back. No, that doesn't work. No, that, that doesn't work. I want a time frame. You're going to take the car to the grocery store to go get my food. I want to know when you're going to be back. In case, just in case, I want to use the car to go hang out with my friends or go to my parents' house or a number of things that I didn't have planned until I realized that you were going to take the car and go to the store because I'm in this place where I can't concede anything to you because I already hate you and the marriage is over. I get it, Steven, but you're being recorded. Sure, you'll be back when you're back. It doesn't work either. <laughs> I, I, Do you understand the difference between my life being set to the second and you going to the back on back? The only way out of this is discipline respect. No, no, it's not a cuck take, and I'll tell you why. Because Steven is acting like a bitch right now. Trying to argue with this woman about taking the car. You really want to be this big of a man? Bitch slap her to the floor and take the keys. 
but sit here and argue. You're making me into a victim. He's arguing like a fucking woman. He's being the woman in the situation. And the only other person involved is a barefoot pregnant woman. It's the only way out of it is we're at an impact. Here. It's not that, it's that he's being the bitch. That's the problem. Because you can't have any discipline. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. You throw your hand, you give up so easily. I don't give up so easily. You, know, Steven? you give up oh, no. so easily. I just said the only way out of this is discipline and respect. You said, then we're at an impact. Steven, no, we are at an impact. Yeah, exactly, Stone Mexican guy. I was going to bring that up. He's talking to this bitch like he like you're he's debating on the internet. You're being so disingenuous. Nobody uses that fucking term in real life when fighting with their with, with their significant other unless you're internet people. We love to fight in real life. He's fight he's internet fighting his girl his wife. Okay. I love you, but Steven, Steven, your abuse is sick. He's an asshole. I I wouldn't go. I I said teetering on abuse earlier, but let's not take it that far. He didn't hit you. He's being fucking controlling and annoying. But he's not holding you there. If you're like, I'm taking the keys, I'm leaving. If, if he stops you, hit, beats you, yeah, then he's abusing you. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. I don't like your tone, young lady. Again, like I said, part of my part of my brain's like, oh, Steven Crowder's pretty based. And then the other part of my brain's like, yeah, you can't treat people like that, Steven. You're a piece of shit. Fucking watch it. I'm gonna let go. I'll get what you need me to get. And I, I need some space. We need to just stop engaging for a little bit. Okay? I love you. I love you very much. I don't love you. That's the big problem. I've never received love from you. And the fact is, when I go, look, I need you to do A, B, C, and D, you just be disciplined about it. You go, no. <laughs> I don't love you because you don't do enough things for me. You know why I don't love you? Because I say, I love you. I need you to do a bunch of shit for me. And she's like, I, I have my own shit. I have my own life to live. Marriage is a partnership. It's not you just ordering me around. Well, that means you don't love me. Steven has such a fucking ego on him. If I didn't know so much about him, it'd be a different, I'd, I'd be talking about it maybe a different way. But we've seen this incredible, terrible ego that Steven Crowder has on him again and again and again. Whether it be with the way he designs contracts or the way he treats his coworkers or here in this case, the way he treats his fucking wife. But I love you more than life itself. Okay. Put on some gloves. No. But I love you more than life itself. That's not fair. That's not fair and it's disingenuous. Hillary, you're right, right in past. Become someone as you may day in and day out worthy of a wife worth. Imagine if you had to listen to Louder with Crowder when you didn't want to. That's where this this position this poor bitch is in. No, not as a wife. She comes home at the end of the day. She's probably, you know, she's doing whatever she does. I don't know if she's a housewife or if she works or what. I don't know anything about her. But she comes home and whether or not you want to, the rest of the night is louder with Crowder. He talks like this on his personal time. How obnoxious is that? He's not playing a character. Steven Crowder really is an asshole. Hillary, Hillary, come on now. I'm not going to engage. I'm not going to engage anymore. I'm going to go. I'll get texting what you need. I'll get you what you need. I, I love you. I'm committed to you. Come here. You come here right now. You sign this non-disclosure agreement saying this conversation never happened. If you love me, you will sign this non-disclosure agreement. Change my mind. You're not committed to anything. You're not committed to so anything. So Mexican guy's like, even I treat my wife better and I'm Mexican. Anything. You just said I love you and I'm committed to that. Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. I need to walk the dogs, put on some gloves. Enjoy, bitch, if you love me, you put on some gloves and walk the damn dogs. And then you go to the grocery store to go get my meals. While I sit back here and smoke cigars with my feet up and look over the pool and think about how awesome I am. I'm Steven fucking Crowder, bitch. Okay, Steve. Are you committed enough to do anything? I'm gonna just walk the dogs. Put on some gloves. God, you're annoying since you got fat. That's just gonna be the next thing coming out of his mouth. Committed enough to get the medication the dogs. Don't you take take that in. 